So fans have been waiting for nearly five years for a new Isaiah Rashad album, and he recently tweeted on his Twitter on February 5th of 2021, replying to a fan who asked for the album, and he said, that shit done besides clearing samples. So we might be finally getting this thing, man. The house is burning is coming, man, and I'm super psyched about it. I think it's going to be absolutely fantastic because, you know, as you said, we've been waiting for such a long time. The last time he dropped was 2016. Um, and you know what? Isaiah Rashad's discography is full of W's. Um, I don't think he has a single week project. I think uh, Sylvia Demo is above a 9 on 10, and the same thing with the Sun's tirade. So um, I'm expecting fucking greatness on this album. How about you? Yeah, I'm definitely expecting you know greatness just because he's taken so much time to craft this. And he's also going to be in a, in a very different headspace just because I think it was in 2019 he had said that you know he was completely sober. He had stopped smoking cigarettes. Like He completely changed his whole lifestyle. And you know now he's added a child to his family. So he's a father of two kids. So I feel like for this album, Album, you know, similar to the kind of vibe we got with uh, the song Why Worry, which dropped back in 2020, mm -hmm. we're going to see him kind of dive into more of a reflective state of mind of him being, you know, a good father and kind of um, taking in all the luxuries that he has now in his life. Okay, so let's uh, let's jump to this, man. If you were to go through a full track list, how many songs do you think we're getting on it? I hope that we get somewhere between 10 and 14 because I think that Isaiah could go on for longer than the usual 10, 11 tracks yeah, you might facts. expect, but... I don't want to hear any like 20 song album. I mean, he could pull it off. If there's, if, if there's someone that could pull it off, it's Isaiah just because I think on both Sylvia Demo and The Sun's Tirade, there's no misses at all. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, man, I'm super psyched for this. And I want to ask you, who do you think would be the best collaborators to see on this thing? Kendrick has to be there again. What's Wrong Part 2. I'd be super down to get that going. Um, Absol, I mean, I would want to see where they're both at, you know, after five years of being absent. So And they've never yeah. had a song just the two of them before. I, so I don't that would be cool. Not to my knowledge. Yeah. It's probably out there, but not to my knowledge off the bat. But I mean, it would just be a huge W for TDE, right? Because I mean, you know, imagine opening up your whole rollout with all your artists with an Isaiah Rashad album that's been waited on for so long and then after that like what i would do probably is then drop up soul right after that and then you know tde fans are seriously eating i mean even at that like you know sizza has been super active lately on her socials i want to like, see her on the album uh, just because she's gonna be fantastic yeah dude. man if you look at songs like west savannah and you know ronnie drake like they've made amazing collaborations together and you know isaiah's been on every single sizza album and sizza has been on every single isaiah album so to see them reunite again i think is a must Another thing, too, is in 2020, Isaiah tweeted that he's not dropping the album until he gets a Young Dolph feature. And that would be really interesting, man. There was also the whole thing with Currency as well, where like, uh, you know, I think it was in a Twitter reply as well, where like someone asked, what about Currency? And, you know, he had dropped a little emoji there from what I remember. So, uh, I mean, the, listen, the collaborators could be absolutely fantastic. It's also a thing where, you know, I'm down to hear from Isaiah Rashad on a solo track as well, right? Like, I'm really not, you know, if I don't get any features with this album, I'm, I'm completely fine with it. I don't need that, it. no. No, for sure not. And, and it's, it's a whole concept album and it's a whole, it's a whole experience with this and it's going to be fun to see you know where's where's his headspace in the past five years without releasing music so i'm super ecstatic man it's gonna be a crazy way to kick off the year yeah and i'm super excited to see in terms of producers who he's going to bring along because you know he has been rumored to work with kenny beats we know that they are friends they've done like instagram lives together and to see um you know what kenny beats just did with denzel curry on unlocked was brilliant just because kenny is able to really tap into the aesthetic of an artist and isaiah's never been one to have you know one or two producers focus the production on his album he's always you know scouted out a bunch of different producers so it might make for an even more focused album if Kenny Beats is at the helm of this project. So that would be interesting to see. Um, but I have I have a big feeling that this album's coming soon just because we're getting a lot of pictures being posted and snippets, not only from TDE, but from Isaiah himself. He was recently shooting a music video with artist Duke Deuce. And the snippet for that sounds amazing. I don't know if you've heard it yet. It sounds absolutely great. And I think it's going to be a sort of thing where, like, when we get it, we're going to be super satisfied. I mean, you know, you can never slander Isaiah Rashad. He's never put out bad music. And, you know, his, his music is so soulful. And, like, every time you go into an Isaiah Rashad song, it's a different type of experience. And you absolutely love it. So Yeah, he brings in that yeah. southern flavor every time, uh, man. Absolutely. And it's just, it's always, nice. it's always a great experience listening to Isaiah. Um, and last thing I want to ask you is, if you had to put you kind of either your bet on which month it would drop in what would it be probably march you think march okay i think march is good to get the rollouts going i think that's where they have him i think he's gonna go first or second week of march how about you if you had to put a prediction? i think april just because i think why were dropped last april and i think he's gonna come back a year later after dropping that single which i think is gonna be on the album
Okay, no, that's a pretty good prediction then. But listen, guys, if you like content like this, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification tab. We're connecting the world to hip hop and we're doing this content on the daily, guys. Tell friends about this. You know, we yeah. we, we started popping off on TikTok too. Um, you know, we do a bunch of these videos about, you know, what to expect about future albums, album reviews, our weekly podcast with different, you know, collaborators in the future. And yeah, welcome to the NFR experience. And you know, let it crazy. And let us know in the comments when you think Isaiah Rashad's album, The House is Burning, will actually drop. Thank you